we thank God, amen, for such a blessed day in spite of the weather. Our reading shall be number 45 of the Psalm, verses 1 through 7. Again, that's Psalms number 45, verses 1 through 7. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made, touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemy, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thy lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Amen. You may have a seat.
Thanks to Psalms 45 for a brief, a brief introduction to thought ministers, all right, preachers. All right. Psalms 45 and uh, verses. Well, we're going to look at, I want you to study that whole psalm, but let's look at verses 4, 5, and 6. 4, 5, and 6. Amen. If you read Psalms 45, Verses 4, 5, and 6. And uh, read that for me if you will, and we'll be on our way and then be pre get prepared to go on our afternoon journey. Shall we? And in thy majesty, cry, prosperity, because of the truth, and in the and the righteousness, and thou right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Let's, let's look a few little, little bit at the everlasting throne. The everlasting throne. Every king needs a throne, doesn't he? Somebody help me here. Thank you, Ursus. Y'all looking so beautiful. And that, that bring up yesterday, I saw a wonderful Ursus added to the Ursus group yesterday. Amen. And they stood there at the back. And I'm glad to know, amen, unselfishly, she served, and I thought that was mighty nice. Amen. amen. So we, we thank you. It's not, it's nothing wrong. Around here, it's all right to have two or three officers, because you're not going to step on nobody's toes, right? All right, all right, all right. About all right. Yeah, it's about it. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sister Hawking, that was good. I thought you looked Matter of fact, you just look kind of in place, that is your ladies. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> that. Amen. Well, before we get too deeply involved, I want to ask, I got a question or two I want to ask you. Um, one is, is God giving you all you want? That's one question. <laughs> So y'all got a y'all got a case against God then. Yeah. If he's not giving you all you want. You are sitting up here in God's house. And deep down inside, you have indicted him. Because he's not giving you all you want. Yeah. Look out. Oh, put your eyes. You don't have any business being in here. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't mean to get y'all in trouble. <laughs> All right, man. Yes, sir. Sure. This is his house. Yes, How are you going to sit in here in contempt, looking cute? Yeah. <laughs> and handsome. Right. And yet, still, you got him on that back. All right. All right. Mm. Yes, sir. Everybody came in this morning with a complaint about something. Ooh, all right, all right. Oh, I messed up my night. You didn't teach me. I don't say I messed up my night. She done looked at you. <laughs> I got to follow him. <laughs> but somebody got their shoe wet. <laughs> their holes got to because of that. The umbrella wouldn't work. And I just got out of the shoe. Come on, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preach, man. You get all right. Just got out of the Just got out of the Indicting God. And then we're going to 
him sit before his throne. Yes, sir. Now, now mercy, Lord. Yes, sir. Now mercy, Lord. It would be well if before we put our hand on the knob or the handle of either the God's house, ask this question. Mm. Am I really going in for full worship? Mm. All right. Full worship. Full worship. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or am I going in to act like I am yes, worshiping? Oh, because you can't worship yes, and then have him in indictment. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Come on, sir. That's right. Yeah. All right. yeah. That's right. Am I anywhere? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe, I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. Maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. See, look, look, look. This is an everlasting throne. Yes, it is. When we read this song, it's about an everlasting throne. Yes, sir. Not, not, not every now and then. Yes, sir. Like some of us may be. Yes, sir. You know, you know I, 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 I got the one that I thought this morning. I heard, I heard that thunder, and light, and everything. I said, oh, Lord, the must be there. Then I said, oh, yeah, but, you know, some, I think some folks, I don't know. I'm gonna skip in your house while y'all not there and get my and find your calendar. Yeah. I'm gonna find how many Sundays y'all got off. All right now. Yes, yes, sir. All right, all the way. All the way from January to December. Yeah, yeah. But then it is God. Not meddling, Pastor. This is a raw song. Composed in a most elaborate style. For the service in the king's court. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the king's court. Yes. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was most likely used in the wedding of the king and the queen. Yes, sir. Help me, Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, Tradition has it that it was used when Ahab married the Tyrian princess Jezebel. I, I hope Jezebel looked better. What? Yeah, I hope the, the pictures I've seen of her, I hope she looked better when she's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Because the, the end product, she didn't look too hot. <laughs> you know, I told you about the pair. The man had the pair in the store. I told you about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we go on, go. We got, we got, we got to go to. The poem, the the this poem gained much popularity. That it was used at later royal weddings. And probably at the festival of the enthronement of the king. Whatever its origin, my brothers and sisters, this psalm was truly a Holy Spirit endowed psalm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, it was. Yes. When you just read, just read it and read how the word, noting short, nothing short of divinity could have composed the prose of this coronation and incarnation. Yeah. Well, yeah. The work in his the word is almost prophetic mm -hmm. and messianic. It speaks of a king and his bride who are destined for an everlasting royalty. Yes, yeah. God. Somebody ought to help me. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. A king and his bride mm -hmm. destined for an everlasting royalty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't think yes, of any sir. kings. Mm -hmm. Even King Elizabeth, she's, what is she, 90 something, 96? But I don't think she's going to be everlasting. <laughs> and Prince Philip is 90 something? I don't know how, I'm, 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 you know, don't, don't y'all send this to CNN. I'm not predicting anybody's death, but I almost certain I can tell you they're not going to be everlasting. Amen. 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 And you know what? I thank God. 
Sometimes we don't thank God for the right thing. That's all right. right. I thank God that He won't give me everlasting life on this side. That's all right. Amen. Amen. How would you like to have me be here for now? You had to put up with me. <laughs> See, when they call the pastor, call, I think they all the time. <laughs> Thank God. And, and you get a headache? Why would you get rid of Thank God he didn't make us everlasting on this side. Can I get a witness? Because I, I listen, I wouldn't want all this disappointment, Amen. all this headache and heartache, all, the, all of these calamities, yeah. all the time, on and on. I'm looking for a day. Everlasting throne. Yes, the Hebrew tradition of kingship was born out of the line of David and chosen and bound by God to a perpetual yeah. help me Holy yeah. Holy Ghost perpetual covenant you'll find this in 1 Samuel 16 1 through 3 amen 1 through 13 the reign was that the king was to adopt the son of God well, in other words it was styled in the image of a heavenly kingship. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. It was done on earth. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Come on. You see, you see, when 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 the Israelites was given a king by God, yeah. who the first one was Saul, yeah. he is a representative of God. Amen. All right. And the people, the kingdom of the world. All right. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so it was never intended for it to be an earthly kingdom. Y'all right. don't hear me. Yeah. It was earthly subject, yeah. but it had heavenly direction. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. But Saul couldn't fit the picture. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. He, he kept mixing up earthly things. You know, anything that's ungodly is earthly. Amen. Yeah. All right. I, I might just stop there. We've been good. I, I, I think this went by y'all. Anything that's ungodly is heaven. Amen. 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 Yeah. Anything that's godly is heaven. Yeah. See, it's heavenly to tell the truth. Yes, right. But it's hellish to lie. Y'all right. right. don't hear me. Right. Right. It's earthly. It's, it's earthly. I mean, just low to lie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you got wings on when you tell the truth. Can I get a witness? Everything that is negative is earthly. Yes, heaven doesn't have any need. Heaven doesn't have any need for, for, for forgiveness because heaven doesn't come, doesn't go around and backbite and criticize on somebody. Confined to down here, this king was God's representative and almost vice president, so to speak. Well, vice regent yeah. of the earth. Whoever he was, King Saul, King David, he was God's earth man yeah. Yeah. to stand as a picture of the heavenly kingdom. Yes. and the heavenly king. Mm -hmm. And though this king's person was divine, blessed, and channeled through the nations, mm -hmm. what happened to him was to happen to the subjects. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Yeah. God's, God's way of looking at the kingdom was that whomever I place as king, mm -hmm. whatever I, if I blessed him, it blessed everybody. Amen. 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 Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. If I cursed him, it cursed yeah. everybody. Y'all uh, yeah. well, don't hear me. Yeah. Yes, sir. And God's purpose and reason for doing that is that he is my representative. Yeah. Well, everything, if he's connected, everything he's connected to, it comes back to me. 
Well, see, let, let, listen, I'm closing, and we'll pick up the rest of this. You can't go around talking about your business. Amen. Amen. Because really, truly, you don't have any business. You don't even have you. <laughs> This is my bit. Where did you get it from? Who did you pay for? Can I get a witness? Who, who gave you the deed to it? It all belongs to God. Yes. Yes. It helped me when I realized I sat there. I sat there, Reverend Thompson, and got to thinking about this, this, this principle that God when he looks out over the kingdom of earth, he doesn't look at an earthly version. Well, what he sees is that my will and my connection on earth has been broken, and so now I got to send it back up. Right. Oh, yeah. Can I get it with me? Well, well, let me put it this way. We may be down here, uh -huh. but we are just like, we are, we are creatures made by God just like angels. Amen. Amen. Somebody help me here. That's why the psalmist says his eyes are in every place. Get a witness? Yeah, looking and verifying what you're doing. It ought to behoove us to know that if we are his subject, uh -huh. he got his eyes on yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. If we are his subjects, yeah. he knows our business. Yeah. And thank God he knows. Yeah. Thank God he knows that I have triumphed. because I want to be, if I can, at the wedding. And we got the tease, and they said, I said, but even if I happen to miss yours, 
we'll, get, we'll meet up again in another one. Another one's in the process of yeah. right now. Yeah. On this everlasting throne. Yeah. That's enough, sis. Amen. Amen. I kept my word. Amen. Yeah. There may be somebody here this morning. The everlasting throne. You don't belong to you. That's right. When you go home, before you go to bed tonight, when you look in the mirror after you get through telling yourself how sweet and how handsome, robust and nice and all that you look, then stop, Lord, and say, you know what, Lord, look at look at yourself and say, I belong to you. I am property. <laughs> Hey, yeah, just, just right. Maybe some, make some t-shirt. Maybe a t-shirt. Yeah. I am property of the Most High. Property, yes. He got deed. He got tap. He got title and life. Decision. If you are seeking the Lord, when I'm in need, who do you turn to? Who do I turn to to come see about me? That's right, that's right. Who do I turn to? Tell us, tell us. something if you're here and you're seeking a church home or you need prayer or you have some spiritual needs that you want the church to pray for you if you are here the Lord is saying to you. God bless you. Repeat after me, Lord. I belong to you. And I'm a part of your everlasting kingdom. Let me learn to act like your subject and know that your will should be first in my life. Now, Lord, watch before, between us. Carry us safely down the highway and bring us safely again. Thank you for our friends. And may we, oh gracious God, understand that your will be done. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll be back here at 6.30.